Hi everybody, this is Monica from Informatica. In this video, we will see how to import and export of ORS and IDD application from command line. So agenda for the video is, first we will see uh, about mate command, how to use, what are the prerequisites, we will see demo, then uh, we will see how to do IDD import export through command line. For that we will see what are the prerequisites, examples and we will see demo. So first thing is mate command. What is the mate command? Mate command is nothing but an wrapper which we use to call APIs, mate command APIs. So what are mate command API available? Currently we can use apply change list, create change list, get ORS metadata, validate change list and validate metadata. So, what are the prerequisites to use the mate command? First thing is we should uh, J JRE or JDK must be installed and uh, resource kit must be installed. Then um, there are some properties for connecting to Informatica MDM hub which will be available in the below file that is a Cyperion connection dot properties file we need to edit that properties so that we can access that files the connection properties are nothing like the local host or uh, the host name which we are using then uh, we need to provide um, what are the protocols and uh, we need to provide the ORS ID which we can configure in the Cyperian connection dot properties file. Now we will see an example or a demo for uh, mate command. So we can see that uh, so mate command will be available in the folder location infamdm hub resource kit and in samples. If you see here, you can see that uh, mate command folder is there. cd mate command. Okay, ls. Hmm. Inside uh, mate command, we can see that um, a source option is there. We need to go cd source. Inside source, we will have an resources. In that resources, we can see that properties file. Sorry, CT properties ls Cyperian. So, this property we need to edit that is Cyperian. Cyprian connection dot properties in this file you need to provide the required um, application server and then uh, you need to configure soap call URL and uh, HTTP call URL so after this okay so here we can see uh, if we are using windows we can directly run this command mate command.cmd but since we are in uh, linux we can't use this command uh, so we need to do some modifications or we we have one kb written for the same so so this is the command we can use going to use uh, mate command that uh, validate metadata so for validate metadata we need to provide target ORS ID uh, this is nothing but the ORS ID which we need to validate so we need to copy that from your hub database if you go to if you select an ORS you can see here that database ID you need to copy this database ID in this target ORS ID I think I am not Okay, enter. So now we, this ORS will be get validated, and uh, so you can see that the ORS is get validated. So now um, 
to identify that uh, we will be having some return codes for the api here zero or uh, if uh, that return code will be an integer value if it is zero it means the operation is successful if it uh, returns minus one it means some error will be there we can track this return codes in the script as well so we can uh, same how we, uh, the way how we perform validate metadata same way we can create a change list we can apply change list we can validate the change list and uh, we can uh, use get to rs metadata to export that metadata also we will be having a rollback to last it uh, will roll back to last change not to done now we will see idd import and export so idd import and uh, export option is available in the mdm automation tool so uh, this mdm automation tool is available for uh, 95 uh, 9619711 for mdm 951 it will be available with uh, jboss application server so this tool is to simplify some of the manual operations and run them through command line so um, one of them uh, is the idd import and export we can do through this application so basically whenever we we will get this this application we need to unzip this mdm automation zip file okay. before that um, first we will see what and all things we can do with idd import export we can I, I do idd import and deployment to an existing application also we can perform idd import and deployment as a new application and also we can do idd application export to zip file so what are the prerequisites prerequisites is first of all that resource kit is installed with mdm automation tool then uh, since we are uh, deploying idd application so it will make changes in a master database so we need that uh, credentials required for that master database uh, to use this mdm automation tool first um, java version should be 16030 or higher in the path mm, then um, now we will see how can we configure this that is the demo <laughs> so um, this automation tool will be available in the infimdm hub resource kit automation miscellaneous automation inside that folder you will get mdm automation dot zip file readme dot txt so first of all we need to unzip this mdm automation zip i have already unzipped in the test folder so once you come in a test folder for an idd deployment you need to be sure that below files are available like uh, idd deployment.sh idd get app.com that command prompt is used for windows then idd get app.sh then idd import to existing app dot sh these are the required files which should be available after that um, we need to open that automation dot properties file here i have already configured but i will show you uh, cat automation dot properties okay okay so in this file we need to configure app server type then app server version then um, jboss host name jboss remote port these are the impo important things then we need to configure admin username admin password uh, then since we are using idd deployment we need to configure the master database details as well so here right <coughs> here we can see properties for idd import and deployment in that we can see that mdm master database type we need to provide master database dot server we need to provide then uh, mas mdm dot master database port number then mdm master database service name i have provided 
then uh, master database dot username and the database password these are the properties we need to configure then um, one in once uh, see uh, when uh, we are uh, importing application through command line the tool creates some temporary directories and files during its process therefore it needs a temporary directory when it can keep temporary directories and files so um, for that we have a uh, property named mdm temp directory name here i have created temp auto so i have given that directory name and then um, mdm delete temp directory if this property is set to if it property set to yes once that application deployment done it will delete the temporary files from this directory if you want to keep that files for some debugging purpose you can make this property to no so these are the properties we need to configure in the mdm zip so i have created temp auto directory for temporary uh, files to be get stored so now we will see how can we import this idd deployment so here i am going to deploy a new idd application so i will use idd deployment dot sh command dot mm, slash idd deployment dot sh so this needs a parameter like uh, config dot xml config xml it needs uh, that uh, bdd config file so i am having idd config dot xml then uh, it needs the database id it is nothing but your um, ors id so i'm going to deploy mdm sample so i have provided that database id and then enter so once this uh, idd application get deployed you need to restart application server here you can see the message you will get an information like uh, idd deployment successful idd new application import and deployment was su successful for um, once this will be done you need to restart application server so that the changes will get reflected in your idd so this uh, command idd deployment dot sh command will pass configuration xml file and get the application name display name and logical ors name if application already exist with same application name it will report error and won't create new application if application doesn't exist this tool will create a new application in the database and deploy it you need to restart app server which will validate the application and if there is no validation error idd will deploy the application and it will be ready to use so in summary there are three steps to import idd deploy id to import and deploy new application first thing is we need to configure master database credentials in the um, mdm automation in the automation dot properties file once that done you need to run this idd deployment command and um, it needs that uh, xml file uh, idd config dot xml file and it needs that uh, ors id where you want to um, which you want to use then uh, the third step is you need to uh, restart the application server so for uh, more details you can refer repository manager guide and uh, resource kit guide we would like to love to he we would love to hear from you uh, you can use that uh, support video at informatica.com also you can follow us on uh, twitter.com thank you have a nice day